How you doing guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm that guy as and in today's videos you guys have already read it by the title I've got a Seat Cooper R. You know what? This car is just mad. Completely mad. I'm not gonna waste your time. Let's get it. Pshh. Here it is. This is the Seat Leon Cooper R. It's a very, very good friend of mine. He owns this car. Um, he didn't want to be in the video. He goes to me, take the keys, do what you got to do. So here it is, and here I am. Let me quickly go through this car. This is very similar to my S3. Um, they run a BAM lump, 180T, 225 engine, front wheel drive. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of con confliction between these and the S3s and the Mark IVs. This, I believe, is an all-rounder and the only thing it's missing is the four-wheel drive. This has the Brembo calipers as standard with the 323 mil discs. Um, and obviously they have obviously the BAM engine which the Mark IV GTIs, 180s come with a UM and a UQ etc and whatnot. The S3s come with the BAM and the ARL. I think the there's another engine, I think ARL or something like that that has 210. But this is 225, they come 225 stock. This particular car has been built by Badger 5. Um, it's got a Badger 5 map. It's running two from what I can remember. Oh, let me just quickly open the on it. So from what I from what I've been told, this is obviously running a Badger 5 map. It's been built by Badger 5. Let's start. You've got the chrome caps, the forged chrome caps. You've got the a polished uh, charge pipe. This is obviously a pre charge pipe that comes without the baffle. Same thing I've done on my S3, but this is obviously a polished pipe. This has got all forged hoses as well as Creation Motorsports. We've got Creation Motorsports. Uh, oversized tip with a Rame induction. Forge double weight, um, and yeah, obviously, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's, this is running the. This is, I think it's got, yeah. So from what I've been told, this has got upgraded um, mounts. Uh, it's not the uh, Viber Technics, which I will be getting, but this is obviously, I think the bushes or something's been upgraded. But this is on shocks and springs. It's it's got uh, rotor grids. Rotor grid alloys with uh, a nice set of Rolex tyres to match. Obviously, upgraded rear discs, uh, full exhaust system. I'm not sure of the company, but it's got a full exhaust system. And yeah, man, this is like this is just this is just the pinnacle of 180s. To be honest, for me, it's it's either Cooper R 180 or an S3 or even a TT. They, I mean, they all run the same platform they all share the same engine and obviously bits and bobs of slightly share you know they take from each other and kind of build their own kind of creations but this for me I think is the best looking 180 I do prefer the look of these you know it comes stuck with a Cooper R lip and a lot of us guys a lot of us guys we take the Cooper R lip put it on our Golfs put it on our Audis put it on our TTs and these come standard with that so obviously yeah and it just looks so aggressive another mod that this has been done so normally the number plate is here you have like a little plinth that kind of comes here but what people do is they flush it they cut it off and then obviously mount where in this in this case the um, number plate is obviously mounted on the side and then just cover it with a big mesh um, big mesh grill 
or whatever. Um, so yeah, so I mean, stock, uh, well, standard recovers. Obviously the, let me quickly show you guys. The staying wheel is obviously a nice, you know, just a nice looking, obviously it's a bit faded out. Dav, you need to get that sorted. <laughs> it's a bit faded out. The, if you look at the interior, the dials are white. I'm not sure if that comes stock, um, but that does look quite cool. Obviously you've got the gauges. Interior, I mean, it could be better. Me personally, I think the Audi's probably come with the best interior. This is very similar to the Audi. It's very, very similar. It's, you know what, it's probably identical. Um, but for me, it'd probably be like either the Mark IV interior or the TT interior. I think they just, phenomenal looking like they just look really nice um, other than that I think we've covered the basics apart from this is a very very fast car very fast one I mean it's fast like obviously pushing the same amount of BHP as me but it's just the way this has been fine-tuned by Badger 5 and you know what Badger 5 are up there like a lot of people know of Badger 5 so this performs very well like I've sat in the car Obviously, I've driven it a few times. I need my S3 to kind of perform like this. Obviously, there's a few niggly bits on my S3 that I need to fix, which is getting done as we speak, slowly, slowly. Stay tuned for the stay tuned for the update videos. Um, so, yeah, my S3 needs a bit of work. So that's getting done. But look, I know you guys are waiting for it. Let's take this beast for a little ride. What are you saying? Let's do it. On to the next one. No nah, man, I'm gonna quickly be back. Right, so waiting <laughs> for a spin and I'm leaving these lot behind. Um you know what I love this car the way it sounds like I I'll be honest guys like I'm dealing with an issue with my S3 like the back box is just gone like the back box is just mad it that needs changing um it's just a cold start it just sounds like it's gonna break away it does quieting down but then obviously when I'm driving after it's reached you know temperature it sounds like I've got no exhaust system on it but obviously there's a Miltec back box who's this oh counsel the wife you know can't pick up the phone when you're driving follow the law yeah obey the law and that so yeah like I was saying I mean this it's a bit it's a bit rough on it on the humps and stuff but you know what just you know you know when you touch a pedal or when you feel a pedal you like the response that you get from some cars you get sometimes you get a bit of a lag a bit of a delay this one like it just kind of feels instant like it's very responsive and where you've got the exhaust and everything that kind of just helps just kind of brings everything together uh, yeah some of you guys are probably thinking what's wrong with this guy's voice like yes yeah, so I've been suffering a little chesty cough oh it's not it's not corona all right it's not corona I've been tested all negative don't worry so yeah so let's see what this bad boy can do traction off yeah and I'm in Mexico by the way guys <laughs> if anyone's wondering nah, the, the, you know what it is the weather's a bit bad <laughs> And I don't really want to give it the full beans. I just want to kind of fully understand the car a little bit better. So I'm not going to be going completely crazy. But as long as you guys understand what these cars are about, how they perform, how they drive, from my reactions and experience, and that's all that matters really, I guess. Do you know what? So my friend, um, he goes to me, I want you to fresh the car and I was like what and he goes I want you to fresh the car <laughs> bring I want you I want when you drop it off to me I want you I want I want to see a smile on your face so I was like oh, I don't really feel comfortable doing that type of honest like people other people's car I'm like bro I'm giving you permission I was like all right cool wouldn't it so yeah I mean I've got permission but it's just personally I don't like I don't like doing it but you know give it a little bit <laughs> This is just... Oh, can you guys hear that? Can you guys hear that? This car is ridiculously fast. This is fast. Yo, 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 yo. I need to get like a picture, like a... I need to get 
design made or something where it's got my face or something it says yo <laughs> I'm telling you something you know what this is another car that definitely gives you smiles per gallon like it might not be good on mpg but i'm pretty sure this gives about 26 27 mpg which is not bad really not bad Do you know sometimes I get a little bit um, I get a little bit scared sometimes because obviously when it's not your own car and this guy's just right up my ass, is this front front windscreen tinted? That's mad. That's mad. Um, but yeah, I mean sometimes you know you want to push a car but you don't want to push a car because you don't really know what the car's capable of. <laughs> what is it? The noise this car makes. Oh, why does not? Why doesn't my S? Why? Why doesn't my S3 make the same noise? I don't understand. It's the same engine, it's the same. I've got the same setup. not a chance I would like if anyone out there is watching this video and you've got four-wheel drive Leon Cooper R please message me because I would like to to either sit in the car or drive the car and do a review on it that that would be mental that would be actually nuts but this just fucking hell Fuel charge, you don't have to pay a penny. You get your alloys refurb for free. Not diamond cut, but obviously any color of your choice. All you gotta do is obviously sub to the channel. Make sure everyone else subs to the channel. As soon as I hit 2000K, I'm gonna do the giveaway. You gotta go to my Instagram, like, share, follow both accounts. So obviously the body shop that I've t 
teamed up with to give this to do this giveaway and obviously myself if you're not uh, following me already so yeah so I mean you could be in a chance of winning a giveaway man like it's just simple as that a couple a second a sec a, what a minute a minute to get things done For the sake of one minute of your life you could win a free giveaway not really that hard is it Dave, I love your car, man. I love your car. I don't want to give it back. I do not want to give his car back. This just drives so sick. So sick. You know what? I need you to smash the thumbs up button. If you want to see this up against my S3, smash that thumbs up button. And I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I promise you, I'll, I'll make it happen. Because this would be actually, it would be a very nice, it would be a very good little drag. Or race. Whatever it turns into. It would be very good. So yeah, no, definitely, definitely. I, 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 I want to see it happen. I know you guys want to see it happen. So all you got to do is just smash that thumbs up button. Let's, let's get, what, 200 likes? 200 likes and I'll make it happen. Pretty sure 200 likes can be done. Easy, like button. So yeah, um, guys, really appreciate everyone that's been supporting the channel, um, commenting on the videos, you know, messaging me for any information or advice or anything. You know, it mean it, it means a lot, and everyone that obviously likes the videos and you know just the, just the response I get from you guys, it actually I do appreciate it. So obviously, anyone new to the channel, and if you're watching this video. Go hit that subscribe button. All of you guys that already subscribed, you guys already know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button. And until next time, peace.